so why did I write a book about HMS Tamar? Well, the answer is that my father was the first chaplain of the bricks and mortar HMS Tamar just after the Second World War, when in December 1947, my mother, my sister and I joined father at HMS Tamar and spent the next two years there. So there's a family connection. Perhaps more significant in this case, I got involved very early on in the discovery of what I still believe is the wreck of the remains of HMS Tamar, which was found just off the old Wan Chai Ferry Pier in 2013. Now, I got involved in 2015. And after that involvement, I was so fascinated by the ship that I tried to find out as much about it as I could. Discovered lots about it that was common on the internet, in books, was just wrong. So I went further and ended up writing a complete history. And then there was a long process of editing during which I found out more, particularly more images of the Tamar that had not previously been known. And also more about the very curious fact that it's the only Royal Navy ship ever known to have changed its sex in the middle of its life. What I mean by that is it changed its figurehead from a male to a female. And nobody would ever tried to find out why and who carved the new figurehead and what happened. The answer is I still don't know for sure, but I've got some ideas and the ideas are in the book. that would interest everybody? Well, yes and no. No, because it's pretty specialist and you've got to be interested in the Royal Navy, in British Imperial history, and in the history of Hong Kong for it to have appeal. So it's primarily for historians. It's full of lots of data. It's got footnotes, it's got a bibliography. But I think the story itself is actually of general interest to anybody who's interested in ships in the sea, as well as being of interest to anybody who's interested in the history of Hong Kong, because the name Tamar, it's still there as part of today's Hong Kong, where the government headquarters is standing in Tamar Park, in Tamar Street. So the name is still part of Hong Kong, and it's very much part of Hong Kong history. So people who are interested in how today's Hong Kong got to be how it is and when it did and how it did, that's there in the book or a little bit of it. So there's my take on why the Tamar book is of general interest. Mm -hmm.